Hello everyone and blessed be. Um, like the title says, this is um, an, a wax unboxing, but also it's kind of a fun, um, a fun unboxing too, because me and my friend Christopher Michaels, who I always have to say, Christopher Michaels, aka Who's Your Chubby, because <laughs> that's what he says on his channel. Um, we did some uh, online cyber shopping together to get this wax. It was a lot of fun. And so we are doing an unboxing together with social distancing. So I am going to do an unboxing here right now. He is going to unbox his package that he got from the same vendor. We're hoping it's the same waxes, but we're not 100% sure. So um, after you're done watching this video, you can go over to his channel. I'll put a link in the description below and watch him unbox what we are hoping is the exact same box. And we haven't told each other how we feel about these waxes. So um, until we both post our videos, which we're going to try to do at the exact same time, and I go watch his, I'm not going to know his reaction to these waxes until I watch his. So we kept um, that a secret from each other so that uh, we could see how the other person felt about it. So this will be fun. Um, so this is a pre-order that we got from a company called, a vendor called Sparkles. And it was their fall pre-order. Um, and it was $25 plus some shipping. And because it was a pre-order, we had to wait until it was done and shipped out and um so i'm gonna get into it because i'm really excited because i could smell a smell through the bag of course it's a combination of all of them so i'm hoping i'm hoping that's a good sign so whoops and i already undid this so i wasn't struggling um <laughs> on camera but i haven't dug into it see if that stays up or if it's going to fall over. So it was inside the, the mailing bag and then put in this box. And again, this is their fall. Oops. Oops. I guess I'm going to struggle anyhow. Their fall pre-order. Should have opened it even more. And that's what it looks like inside. So here is their business card. And here's some information. I'll put this down in the description as well. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to move this off to the side. And I'm going to take them out one at a time. And these come in these cute little containers. And this one says, coming in pumpkin hot. It says it's fire roasted marshmallow, funnel cake, and pumpkin pie. And then it does say the cure date. So that's awesome. So pretty. Oh, that smells good. I always worry um, about false scents. Again, this is my first real time around with waxes, but I am... A candle fanatic so I do understand smells and lots of times in fall everything is pumpkin spice or pumpkin or pumpkin spice so it's kind of not my favorite but this mixed with um, the other thing smells really good mmm yeah I like that one it smells yummy oops let me see if it'll stay there so the next one, and again, we're not 100% sure we're going to get the exact same ones we are hoping, but we'll see. I won't know until I watch his. So this is Fall in Love, Caramel Latte, Cinnamon, and Moon Pie. This is a yellow. Oh, wow. I've never had a real coffee um, wax. It's not one I would normally be gravitated to, even though uh, 
I have to have my coffee. This smells really good. Um, definitely getting that caramel latte. Mmm, that smells really good. I don't know what moon pie would be in there or what it would smell like, but I, I'm getting that caramel latte, not maybe a tad, tad bit of cinnamon. And again, I'm not sure what that moon pie would smell like, but there is something a little bit sweeter in there too that smells really good. I like that. And it's good to try. I like trying samplers like this or when my friends send me ones because they'll send me ones that I normally wouldn't go out of, out of my comfort zone to try. And I have actually been surprised at what I liked that I thought, oh my gosh, no way. Uh, so this one, oh yam. So this is candy yams, marshmallows, and zucchini bread. I do love the smell of zucchini bread, um, outside of waxes, but actual zucchini bread. So this is kind of a peach. That does smell good. Um, it does smell like you have something cooking. And I am not good at picking up the scents, but overall that smells really good. Um, these are definitely small fall scents, but that is yummy. I think I get a, a bit of that uh, zucchini bread, but also too, we have the fires going on right now. So even though my nose is bad normally, ugh. so I hope everybody's staying safe out there. The West Coast is just like totally lit up. So this one is Calm Before the Fire, Palo Santo and Firewood. Oh, I love Palo Santo. And this is a, a pink, very pink. I'm getting the firewood, which is... <laughs> Normally that might really be nice, but right now with all the uh, the smoke from the fires, it's not it's definitely not a favored sense, but outside of the situation, I do it's very odd. It is like sitting around a fire. I'm not getting any Palo Santo, but I'm a Palo Santo snob. So maybe when I um melt it I will get that Palo Santo but right now all I'm getting is the firewood but again the smell of fire is everywhere it's inside it's outside it's everywhere so the next one is oops sorry Earth's Rain so Rain and Angelica Earthen Oak that sounds interesting Ooh, and it's a very light purple these, these are so cute. Mmm. It smells like a, a, a good bathroom smell. It's almost powdery. But then again, my nose is my nose. That smells really good. Um, I don't know what rain would smell like. I'm, I'm not an expert at what these um, fragrances are supposed to smell like. But it smells kind of powdery to me in a nice way. Um, this this is something that would smell really good in the bathroom, I think. And also, too, so if you're wondering um, what the heck you do with these kind of things, if you just pull it apart, it pops right out. And then you can cut it. You can cut it with a fork. You can cut it with a knife. You can um, use a soap cutter, which is what I have and uh, then pop back in all the pieces that you're not going to use. Yeah, it's hard to describe that one, but I don't know. To me, it just says it would be a nice bathroom smell. Um, oh, I don't know how to say this. I'm not French. La Beignet, Granny's Apple Pie, Cinnamon, and Vanilla. I might be trashing that word, but... I'm excited for that because I love apple smells. This is kind of like a soft peach. 
Mmm. Oh my gosh, that smells good. I do not smell any cinnamon. But I do get the apple pie um, and the vanilla. Mmm. It's not a apple smell. It's actually more of an apple pie filling, filling kind of smell. Mmm, that's yummy. I like it. And, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six more to go, so it's a dozen. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Potato. So this is Palo Santo, sweet potato, brown sugar, cupcake at Tiffany's. Again, this is a smell that people in the wax world just know what it's supposed to smell like, and I do not. But um, we'll see. So it's kind of a soft peach color, too. This one smells good. I'm just, I hope you're not hearing me go. <laughs> but, um, I'm definitely picking up kind of a cupcake smell, a brown sugar smell. I still, I might get a hint of Palo Santo on this one. That smells really good, though. And again, on warm, they can be totally different than on cold, but that smells really good. I'm starting to give myself a headache. <laughs> um, I have a, a pan simmering on my stove that has herbs that are supposed to help with the air quality. I have pu air purifiers going, but um, it's still bad inside or outside here. Okay, so the next one. Sweet potato, brown sugar, 7-Up pound cake, caramel. Yum. Yum. I'm a caramel fanatic. I don't eat it often, but I love the smell of it. Oh, that smells good, too. I don't know what sweet potato is supposed to smell like, per se. But I am getting that caramel. Oddly, I am getting the smell of a 7-Up cake. And the brown sugar. Mmm, that smells yummy. I want to eat it. But I know you're not supposed to. That smells really good. Yum, yum. These are like comfort food, only wax. <laughs> okay. Pumpkin Brewster. Apple cinnamon. Pumpkin pecan. Waffle caramel latte. There's not commas in there, so I'm hoping I'm splitting them correctly. Because, of course, you know, I'm supposed to... Most people know what these scents are, and I don't. I'm trying to see what I pick up on this one. I do get some apple, I do get pecan, I get a lot of pecan, and I do get that coffee note. Actually, at first I was kind of like, meh, but um, the more I sniff it, it actually smells really good. Again, uh, coffee notes are not something I would have ever bought or tried for myself with my own, well, this is my own money. They are not sponsors. I paid for this myself. But um, I like that I didn't know what was coming because it does put you outside of your comfort zone to try something else. And that is heavy on the, for my nose. It is heavy on the latte kind of coffee. But I do get the pecan next. And then I think a bit of apple. But we'll see on warm. But I do like it. Um, autumn and flannels. Well, that's all it says. So, we shall see. Autumn and flannels. Interesting. Uh, that smells like autumn. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
That is yummy. Well, not like yummy food. It's really good. It does oddly smell like an autumn day. How odd that they figured out these scents that invoke the memories or the sensations of things. Mmm, that smells really good. You know, you have your food ones that smell good because they smell more like food. This one is um, uh, not food related, but it is situationally related. I don't know, that sounds dumb to... But this smells really good. I really like that. So cozy and crisp and, and like autumn, but all snuggly. Yeah. Don't anybody hire me to come up with descriptions for things. Let's just say that. <clears throat> so this one is banana, pumpkin, vanilla, nutmeg, and spice. Well, that just sounds yummy. I love the smell of banana. So. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells good. It's sweeter than banana bread, but, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to get myself dizzy smelling this. This smells so yummy. I, I don't, I'm not picking up a nutmeg spicy smell, but I am picking up the banana and the vanilla. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I just want to keep sniffing that one. I think so far this, uh might be a fave might be a fave but I love banana you know that um what is it Laffy Taffy my favorite used to always be the banana and my kids were grossed out by that okay so last one so this says sweater weather falling leaves flannel sheets um and mac apple oh mac apple now I wonder if flannel sheets is different than just flannels. I'm I'm not experienced enough to know, but I'm excited. Oh my god. This smells so good too. Um I'm definitely getting the apple, but it's not potent like of course, you know, it's mixed with other things, so it's not just gonna be bam mac apple. Um but it is like a mac apple with crisp leaves. And I am picking up a bit of that flannel. How does flannel smell? I mean, it does really have a smell, I think. But, oh my gosh, that is so good. I love this. I love all of it. Um. Oh, okay. I'm going to get dizzy. <laughs> so... I mean, these are, this is a good quantity for 25 bucks plus shipping, which I think was like $32. I am so happy. Um, this one is, is definitely something that smells more bathroom to me. Like, you know, would make a bathroom smell really nice. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Um, this one is yummy, but I'm a banana and apple person. I don't think there's any in here that I didn't like. I was a little bit, I mean, this one is situational. Okay. The firewood is just too much right now, <laughs> but that's only because of the raging fires going around. If those weren't going around, that would smell good. I'm not picking up a lot of the Palo Santo, but it could just be, I mean, even the insides of our homes are filled with smoke smells. So I am very excited. I am very pleased. I think it was a great price. It's going to be fun. Um, so go over there with me after you're done watching this. Let's go over and watch Christopher's video. See if he got the same ones and see how he likes them. This will be a lot of fun because I don't know. But again, this is the Sparkle Wax Melts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the bell next to it so you know when I upload more videos. Okay, everybody, let's go over and watch Christopher. Or if you've already watched Christopher's and you came here, it'll be interesting to see um, if we have the same box and how, um, and how we both like them. 
Have a great day, everybody. Stay, stay safe. Blessed be.